Absolutely. So let's jump right in. Without further ado, um, let's 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 go all the way back to the beginning, right? We know what you're doing now. We know that you're crushing it. You're, you've got you know podcasts and businesses and coaching and you know making millions and millions of dollars in in, in commission income. By the way, we're not talking revenue because uh, I don't talk revenue because really, who cares, right? I talk about commission, how much money goes in your pocket. But before we right. get there, let's back up to the beginning. Why I know you're in the Marine Corps, but yep. why real estate? T- t- tell me about that transition. How did you oh, get started? Man. What was the thought process there before we get to, to to the end of the story? Everybody wants to jump to the end of the book, not me. Right. Let's go to the big. Let's go to the beginning. Yeah, let's let let's do it, man. So real so real quick, exited the, the military, right? Exited the Marine Corps, did some mercenary work for a little while. After that, came home and I jumped right into police work. Right, I, I knew I wanted to come home. Didn't necessarily know what I wanted to do, but I, I missed family. I've been running and gunning for a long time and man, I want to come home. So what do I jump into the same thing just at home? So I'm still running and gunning as a, as a police officer, you know, but I'm at home and I did that for about five years and I had a buddy start a fitness company. Um, and, and he got a franchise brick and mortar, like a GNC, but different. Um, and I, man, I saw his vision. We'd share some stories and I talk about how fitness was more of a mental thing for me for a long time. And I got a little tired of running and gunning and I just, I had more ambition for more, you know, and, he gave me an opportunity to be number two in that company. And we crushed. We went from two to 14 stores in two years. And we did it with throwing events and being great with video and building culture. And after about two and a half years, man, it was it was a great exit. It was time for me to do my own thing. And um, he was very encouraging for me to do my own thing. And, man, I got so nervous of, of like, just making that jump, dude, because I was making decent money, but I wasn't good with money. And I had a buddy that was crushing real estate in Colorado and my significant other had a friend doing well and they both thought I would be great at it. And man, I, uh, I didn't have a better idea. Like that's just, that's just the (laughs) the reality is I didn't have a better idea. Matter of fact, I went and helped out another fitness company right as I exited and they changed my comp plan and made it worse because I was selling so much and I needed somebody to kind of stab me in the back a little bit because it just reinforced, man, it's time to do your thing. And you're not leaning into your ambition. You're you're catering to some fear. And I didn't have a better idea, man. And I just, when I started to look at it, when I really, my, my paradigm shift was I had to make real estate fit me, not me fit real estate, right? So how well I manage people's emotions as a police officer, right? Like, Tony, let's say you get in a car accident. I'm the officer that shows up, right? Hey, man, I'm Officer Grimes. Can you hear me? Yeah, man, I can hear you like, great. Hey, what's your name, man? My name's Tony. Tony, nice to meet you, brother. Uh, super sad it's under these circumstances. But hey, man, you know, do you have any pain? Yeah, my leg hurts bad. And I'm like, hey, Tony, man, believe it or not, it's actually great news. You can feel your leg, brother. And hey, listen, man, I'm going to keep you calm. I'm going to stay here, but I'm just going to tell you, here's how the next five steps are going to go. Fire, they eat a lot of chili and they take a lot of naps. They, it takes them a while, but they're going to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're laughing. I'm already breaking. I'm already breaking some of the tension for you. But then I'm going to explain these jaws of life and how loud they are and how destructive it sounds. But it's not because you're that injured. It's because we're just going to make sure we don't move you any more than we have to in getting you out of the car. We're not going to create any bad situations that don't have to happen. And I'm going to explain, ne- I'm going to explain the neck brace to you. If you've got kiddos or a wife in the car, I'm going to make sure whatever officer's checking on them, I'm going to inform you that they're okay or that they're being taken care of. Yeah. I'm going to cater that. And Tony, what I'm doing is I'm managing your emotions. It's all about emotions, right? Brother, yeah. selling in the most expensive sales and buys of people's life, knee jerk reactions during inspections and resolutions or appraisals, man. Like what I started to do was just build a buyer presentation that not only went through the steps of what it was to buy or what it was to sell. I added emotional states that people go through and I already start to address them and discuss them before we get there. So when we get there, you reflect on my training. You don't think I'm just trying to talk you into something. Yeah. Yeah. But I got to train you there before you're emotional. Once you're emotional, brother, if the jaws of life shows up and that's what I'm trying to tell you about the jaws of life, dude, you're freaking out. Yeah. No, you're, you're freaking out. Yeah. But what I really started to do, man, was like, I really started to hone in, on skill sets and traits that made me a great Marine skill sets and traits that made me a great police officer skill sets and traits that made me so successful with this fitness company. Mm -hmm. And how can I hone those and bring them into real estate? One of those was managing client emotions and laying out a, a, a real buyer process. Another thing was bringing a lot of video 
to, to real estate, right? Like when we threw events for Fit Republic, this fitness company, I knew how much culture we built. I knew how much people we brought together around a cause bigger than themselves. Not a lot of people here in Colorado were doing much, much video at all, man. And I, I understood yeah. that's the second best opportunity people have to know, like, and trust me is video. And you, and that's second best to in-person, man. Okay. It's a, it's a close, it's a close second best, right? So, man, I started running a ton of Facebook and just documenting a process and what we were doing. And man, I did 34 deals my first year just off of Facebook and connecting and documenting a process and just showing, not just creating this topic of discussion and talking to a camera, but out showing inspections, out showing like what we were doing. Brother, real, realtors are so good at what we do and you don't yeah. show any of it. You're just- whoa. Whoa. Okay. So hang on. You're, 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 you're getting way out there. Let, let me, let me, let, let me bring this out because um, you're hitting on so many things that we can honestly crack any one of these things open and, and right. probably do an hour seminar on, on a lot of this stuff. But uh, right. let me stop you there. Um, cool. where, where, where do I want to go from here? There's so much. All right. Let's, let's, Let's know. Well, I, I don't want to get to video yet. Yes, we're going to get there. I promise that. Right. Because a lot of agents want to want to kind of understand that um, we've talked to motion already. But what I really want to kind of maybe break open is um, you mentioned that that you look for the opportunity. Right. And the opportunity was in video. Um, how did you recognize video as being the opportunity that you wanted to pursue out of all the different lead generation strategies, out of all the different things that you can pursue, especially as a new agent, just getting into the industry? How do yeah. you say, hey, this is the thing that I'm going to do and I'm going to do it until. Right. Because a lot of times we don't see the results and I'll probably jump out in front of you a little bit. You know, we don't see the results uh, it, it, it very quickly sometimes, um, but it's about the consistency and it's about doing it over and over, even when you're not seeing the result. And that backs into seeing those results as snowballs. So can you break that open a little bit for us and, and talk about that process? And Tony, I love that you mentioned that. And like, Tony, you see that because you care. You're in it for the body of work and you're in it for consistency and things taking time to create because you can tell just speaking to you that you care about consumers. If people want like this immediate thing to work, I question why they're in it. Whoa. We're in a service-based industry. We are here for others. This is why Marines, this is why police officers, this is why people that come from a service-based industry can do well. This is why moms absolutely have so much strength to absolutely crush real estate because of the longevity of just like what they endure, right? With their <laughs> family, right? So yeah, if, anything, true. if anything's quick, I'm just questioning why you're, why you're trying to do it, right? But- yeah. To speak to the video side, I was new to real estate. I was not new to people, right? I was not new to what builds culture. I was not new to what drew people together. And I was not new to how, how well video paints a picture of culture and the desire to be a part of something. So if anything, man, like I remember there's like a book, right? Or there's a, or like an ideology on disruptors and, and brother, not, you know, I'm, I'm not the biggest thing that's out there, but I feel like at a, at a, a low level or a moderate level, I was an industry disruptor because I saw a skill set from a different lane of focus and yeah. how it would apply over here in the real estate. And it was because I was not almost like in sports, brother, playing baseball helps your football, right? Playing free safety yeah. and playing center field. So no different, right? Like I'm playing this other sport, yeah. but it allows me to see success within a certain lane of focus and how it applies to a new industry. And boy, did it, boy, did it work. And like, people were just kind of stuck in the traditional way of doing real estate, at least around me, they were stuck in the traditional way of doing real estate to the point to where when I had the ideas, brother, they didn't even want to hear about it. Right. Like they just didn't, but I knew without a doubt, dude, I'm 238 pounds and I'm, I mean, I'm tatted to the gills. If you don't get a feel my intent and my approach, like imagine me on a Zillow lead, buddy. <laughs> call me or they happen to pick up for my call and I'm well spoken and I'm articulate and I'm and I've got great energy and they're excited and then I show up like I just what like I just got out of prison what like <laughs> and it's like because it's a blind date and they've had no opportunity yeah. to just be around that it's like some of them might be okay with it some of them might be off-putting but through video right from yep. social media to YouTube yep I don't have anybody reaching out. That's not my people. The people that are reaching out that are watching. Not they know you already. Yeah. They already know, like, and trust you. And it's already abundant. People extremely under assume how much you can actually get from a niche audience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, no, I I think that's absolutely incredible. Well, and and it's it bleeds to the fact that you know people do business with people what they know, like, and trust. And the more exposure that you can get to someone, I was I was you know watching a, a podcast the other day, and they were talking about um, influencers and what that actually means to to be an influencer and how that when you know the the whole influencer type industry came along um and why it's been so successful is because the more hours you spend with someone the more you look at that person as a friend right yeah. this is this is my friend I, and in many cases you spend more hours consuming that person's content spend more hours with them on their podcast or watching their videos or spending that time with them than you might with your friends or some of your family i mean an hour 30 minutes at a time i'm um, really digesting that content getting to know this person so to your point when you actually pick up the phone or when they say, hey, I'm looking to buy a house in Colorado. Hey, I'm looking to buy a home in this area. What can you tell me? Uh, it's it's like it's it's almost like a warm market. So what you've done is found a way through video to transition these cold leads into into warm leads. And it's not cold anymore because they know you, at, at least on that side. You don't know them from a cat in the moon or a can of paint. Right. But they well, know you. you. Yeah, well, exactly. yeah, you, you, you know, they're know your, your people. You, they're, they're your 100%. tribe. Exactly. 100 percent. Yep. Because they know me and they're choosing to reach out. Man, they're my people. And here's what's so cool about it. Yeah. Dude, we've got clients from 70s all the way yeah. down to late 20s. We've got left wingers, right wingers. We've got don't carers. Right. Everybody. Because here's what they gravitate to. The quality of video we're producing. Yes. The consistency that we've we've always produced our content on time, every time, every single week. That we're articulate and informative about our areas. And that we're professional about our business. Yes. They don't care about these tattoos, man. They don't care if I wear a, a polo shirt. Like they're actually here? trusting the intent right. and the proficiency of your product and you as a business operator. That's what they gravitate to. So when you think about it, it's not even, man, maybe it's not even a niche. It's broad. We've got people from all over and they just trust our intent and our proficiency at business and, and how well we take this serious. And you can see it because we've never missed a video. Yeah, exactly. And and they they know you that if you are that consistent here, that you'll be just consistent in, um, you know, the way you do anything, the way you do everything. Right. 100%, so. Right. Like if they can see that body of work, they can trust at least beyond trusting a stranger from a Zillow lead. If they can yeah. see that there, they can trust that you're probably going to be a great a great relationship moving forward. And this is what separates you. This is what differentiates you in the market. So coming off of the last segment, um, yeah. The industry is in turmoil right now. There's lots of news. There's lots of things going on crazy. But one of the things that I love that you barely tapped on that I want to break open here is the value proposition, right? And and explaining. And I love the I love this idea, this notion of, hey, I'm at an inspection. Why not walk these buyers through on my video, on my blog, on my whatever I'm doing and show them what I'm doing. Show them how, how I'm reviewing their closing statement. Show them how many homes. Show them in MLS how I'm finding and procuring a perfect search, uh, a safe search for them. All these things that you're doing as an agent, why not show them? Why not video? Why not uh, indicate yeah. to your your ideal audience what it is you're doing? And in doing so, you're able to build a value proposition for them as well. Can you talk a little bit about that and the mindset and the heart behind that and how important that's going to be going forward right, in, in, yeah. in the next few years? Well, first and foremost, right, you have that stigma in real estate that anybody can open a door. What's the big deal? Wow. And that's yeah. our fault because they don't necessarily know everything. Exactly. It is that we do because everything we do great, it's only right in front of the consumer we're helping. Versus and in most cases, they don't even see it, you know? <laughs> exactly, right? So if you go through a buyer process, right? Like, what is that? You contact them or they contact you through YouTube, through Elite, whatever it is. You contact them or they contact you. And you have your little discovery call of like, just, hey, what's your story? What's going on? Cool. And what's your, what's your mission is with that call? Then that goes to meeting in person or, or meeting in, on a Zoom call and going through an actual buyer presentation. Love it. And what to expect. Then that Love goes it. to a home search and looking online, right? Then that goes to looking at areas first. Then once we're good with areas that we like, then it goes to actually looking at homes in person and what to consider there. And you go through that entire evolution. Then it goes to submitting an offer. Then it goes to the tools on an offer. Then it goes to under contract. What does that mean? Then inspections and resolutions and post occupancy, then closings. All of those 14 phases I just mentioned, there's a lot in each phase, correct? Yeah. But isn't that 14 separate videos for your social media? There you like, go. Like, you not only sit down and just pick one of those to talk about and inform your audience? That, that's what I would call creating a topic, Tony. I sit down, I pick a topic of discussion, I turn the camera on, and I'm creating this topic of discussion 
to be informative. But there's this other layer barely anyone does, and it's called creation. Or excuse me, capture, capturing, right? So creating is like your topic of discussion, what I just discussed. Capturing. So even though like maybe I've explained inspections on my social media and what to look for, what not to look for, cool. That'd be creating mm -hmm. that topic and then explaining it. But what about when I'm actually at an inspection? Couldn't I that's, capture that? That's exactly After my right. clients leave, couldn't I say, hey, guys, happy Wednesday. Listen, just got done with an inspection with my clients. I'm checking the box. I'm busy. That's what everybody wants, right? That's why you have a closing photo. That's right. Just got done with an inspection. Hey, listen, while we were here, we had our license inspector, Tony. Man, what a great guy. And hey, by the way, he's licensed. We're going to get to that in a second. But while we were here, there were two topics of discussion that seemed like a concern, but weren't that big of a concern. And here's how we worked through them, right? Hey, listen, here's my call to action. Hey, guys, whether you're working with me or with someone else, just make sure that one, you show up to your inspection because if things are of concern, you want to be here to really understand, engage what's going on so we can problem solve. Two, make sure you have a licensed inspector, right, that can actually properly assess what's going on because in some states, believe it or not, handymen are allowed to do this. And you don't want to do that. This is the most expensive buy of your life year to date. You want to take it serious. But listen, whether you're working with me or with someone else, just make sure at minimum we're getting these two things taken care of. You got to show up in person and you got to make sure your person's licensed. Yeah, man. I hope that brings you guys value. I hope you're enjoying your Wednesday. If there's any questions I can do for you, throw me a comment below. Throw me a message, brother. I'm I'm literally walking through a scenario. Cut, print, send, send to the editor. Like, let's go. <laughs> 34 deals my first year just running Facebook and developing relationships and commenting back and you know friend requesting people and then friend like all that stuff, man. Like, yeah. I was just running that play on social. I still do it to this day, but my and I've only been in this six years. So like, I'm not yeah. I'm not a 20 year veteran. But that first year was 34 deals solely just from manipulating my, my social media appropriately through being a value add, not just a look at me. I'm out of closing. If I'm doing that, man, that's about me. And that's OK Love to it. have those closing photos. But if that's all you got. In a, yeah, it's OK to do that in addition out. to providing value it's okay to do the look at me but look at me in addition to the value um and i love the fact right you talked about these 14 points um uh, goodness gracious so many times i hear when i'm encouraging agents to get on youtube um or to 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 produce video content the number one complaint i'm here that i hear i'm sure you do as well when in coaching is i don't know what to say i don't know what to come up with you know and it's just like turn the camera on while you do what you're doing and that's an incredible thought process you talked about 14 things right uh on a weekly basis that, that's a quarter of your entire yearly content you can do that at 14 things you got a, a, if you do that every single week again that's a quarter of your entire yearly content so that's i absolutely love that and then again you go deeper you make long form content you can make short form content uh make chops and bits and pieces put it on short put it on tiktok um and you start to leverage some of that content as well to help out uh in terms of the algorithms and, and all that stuff so right absolutely you, incredible Tony, yeah, you're spot on buddy all the all the contingencies you're talking about that you can do with all your content moving forward you're spot on. Like, but the biggest lesson for everybody on here, right, is like document yes. everything that you're doing. But as you document it, just organize it and have a framework and make it chronological so it's still a deliverable for people to learn from. But just start there and just be consistent with your content, your minis, your YouTube channel after that, like anything else like will can will come from that. You've just got to develop the habits of being consistent. You got to develop the habit of being able to articulate the process that you're documenting. And it comes through reps, but I'll leave you guys with this because I know we only have a couple minutes left and what, and I want to leave it with you at the end, Tony. We are what I would consider, Tony, wartime generals right now. Love it. Okay. I, like, I, I use that every other week, I think now. <laughs> yes. COVID, Explain it. COVID, yes. interest rates going 134 basis points up. People having questions. Listen, there's a lot of variables that are going on. People still need to buy and sell homes. People still need to invest in properties. It's our job as leaders in our community not to dictate of, of when it's going to be good or not good or whether to speculate. Our job is to lead our community and to be a resource. And then whatever resource they need for whatever circumstances they have, it's up to us to make sure we're leading our communities and allowing them to be successful through home ownership or real estate ownership. It's not our job to speculate if it's good or not good. You just got to have that tool belt on and you got to make sure that you're leading your community, Tony, just like you and I led Marines. You and I are right. not solving world peace, and we're not going to figure out why the war is still going on. But we better make sure we're leading Marines proficiently, regardless of circumstance, beyond rapport, consistently, because we're in it for service. And that's yes. the same thing I identify with real estate, brother. We're wartime generals here for service to lead others, regardless of market, 
So instead of just dictating what it's going to be or not going to be, make sure you're advising and leading your communities. You got my vote for Commandant, man. You got it. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if they pay. Hey, listen, Tony, you and I do okay now. I don't know if they pay enough. That's true. That's true. Not anymore. Not anymore. So and They're going to make uh, me make my bed and shave my face. Yeah, I'll do all that stuff. Exactly. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for the Marine Corps ball. Like, I don't want to shave. Oh, I, I love this thing. So, anyways, awesome. Thank you so much, Will Grimes. That was absolutely incredible. Uh, everyone out there, by the way, how, how can they get a hold of you? Well, anyone that wants to, you know, get a hold of you, follow you, shadow you, do what you do, follow in your footsteps, what yep. do they need to do? Whether it's coaching for YouTube, coaching for real estate, advice, our free Facebook or whatever it is, I dare anybody to message that Will underscore Grimes, which is my Instagram. There's not a person I have not gotten back to within 24 hours. That oh. is like a CRM for me when it comes to connecting to realtors, especially realtors at eXp. Anybody that throws me a private DM there that wants more information on our YouTube courses or coaching or our group, whatever it may be fatherhood, whatever it may be. If you DM me on will underscore Grimes, I will respond to you and we will set up a phone call if you'd like to, and we will help you with everything that you have going on. hundred percent. That's my commitment to them. So I, I dare you guys to message that and get a response and put yourself in a position to be better moving forward to next year. You've been dared. You've been dared. You better get on it, y'all. Uh, I dare you to smash that subscribe button. That's what I dare y'all to do. Oh, there uh, we go. If you, want, if you want to get a hold of me, very similar to Will, uh, EXP agents, you know, hit me on Workplace Chat. Everybody else hit me on LinkedIn. Tony D. King, that's me. Um, I look forward to, to connecting with each and every one of you, doing anything I can to help you grow. That's what this thing's all about. That's the name of the game is grow. So thank you all so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you again, Will. Um, you've been absolutely incredible. And hopefully uh, everyone's gotten as much value as I have from this. We do this, by the way, every week. We bring the top of the top of the tip of the sphere every single week. So that's why, again, subscribe, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, man. Just use your, you're holding your phone. You got the little button. Just push it. It's very easy. That's why <laughs> no, you man, this, this is awesome. You guys have a great energy. Everybody a part of like the corporate team on EXP. Man, I, I can't express enough how awesome it's been with everybody we've met, right? So kudos to you guys for holding it down every week to give this type of content out. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Thanks, Will.